what a way to start the early AM that with MTV Sports is Good Morning Sri Lanka. I'm your host Jason and today is the 2nd of April. It is Wednesday I gotta tell you, it, it really does make me feel good that this is a brand new month of the brand new year which is 2014 and well today's my mom's birthday so I also thought I'd wish her a happy birthday mom by the way and to everyone who has their birthday today of course. But you know the matches are around the season and everyone's just there seems to be a lot of traffic going around Colombo and I thought it would be really interesting for people to kind of get to know about accidents prevention and also what to do in case you get in an accident unfortunately if that does happen my apologies it's not like I jinxed you into good doing it or anything but our guests here today are two special guests from the uh, University of Murta we have the professor uh, Saman Bandar, good morning to you. Good morning. And of course, uh, who is a professor in civil engineering, and Loshika Pereira, good morning to you, who is a senior lecturer Very as well. Good morning. All right, gentlemen, so Wednesday morning, now I wanted to ask you the reason you two are here is to let us know what to do in case we get in an accident here in Sri Lanka. And I'm not saying that our drivers here are bad, but in case you do get into an accident, what do you do? What's the first thing that we should do if you get in an accident? First of all, you have to find out whether there are any casualties. Right. And you have to make sure that, you know, those will be taken to the nearest hospital. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the life is more important. Right. So, you can think about your damages later on. But yeah. I think the first thing that you have to do is to uh, attend to any casualties if there is any. Right. So, that's the first thing that has to come into your mind. Look for casualties. Um, let's say you, now, we're obviously speaking if you are a person partaking in the accident, if you are the uh, other force that has uh, stopped the other vehicle. But if you are a third person, let's just say you're watching from a distance, what do you do? What is your role as a good Samaritan in Sri Lanka? What would you do if you saw an accident happening around the corner? Okay, so you mean to say the after the accident, right? Yes. The accident has already happened? It's happened. Okay, you're basically, standing there. Basically, okay. as Pavel said, I mean, if there are any casualties, so mm -hmm. probably you should go and, you know, help them out uh, to take them to hospital or whatever, right. you know. So that has to be done first. Then other than that, you can, uh, well, I mean, uh, the biggest problem in the country, so we can uh, try to reduce the congestion. Yeah. Right, uh, so take the, take the, I mean, if police officer is available, that would be great, but other right. than that, you can take some, you know, if the, if the accident is not that serious, probably, right. because you can see a lot of uh, damage only type accidents happening okay. most of the time. Right. So, but uh, having the vehicle on the street for like some time, maybe, I mean, few minutes, even like five minutes time, yeah. could create a lot of problem, a lot of right. congestion. Right. So, it's better to, uh, better to help them out, you know, take the vehicles out. Sometimes uh, the drivers are shocked, you know, you never know. So, you can help them out, you know, take them out, you know, beside the road right. and, you know, just calm down, you know. Yes. That's what you can do. That's what we endorse here. Being a good Samaritan, if you are a third party and you see something going on like that, do get involved in a good way, of course. Uh, let's put the casualties aside. Um, now, it's just a minor accident. Let's just say there's a dent in the car. And um, what I've seen from my own eyes in Sri Lanka is that people would just, the guy who would get hit from the rear of his car, he would get down and look at the, look at the, you know, the hull or the back of his car and he would be like, oh no, what am I going to do now? And he would be rambling on and on and on. If you were in a situation like that, where you're the person that you accidentally made an accident in his car, what sh should you do if he's just going on like, look, you have to pay me now. What do I do? Well, uh, now, in, in a situation like that, you yeah. know, the insurance is there to uh, look after. That's of course. I think, you know, uh, we don't have that culture uh, sure. developed uh, uh, fully. So that's why we start arguing about, you know, <laughs> <laughs> who should pay and so forth. So yeah. uh, the, uh, why we insure a vehicle is to, you know, uh, uh, you know, face that side of a situation. Of so, uh, I think, you know, we have to develop that culture so that, you know, in accident situation, you know, the insurance should come and, you know, uh, help both parties out. Right. So, but you have to have some formalities uh, to get it done. Okay. Uh, maybe inform the police and, you know, because we have certain rules and regulations, so we have to abide by them. Right. But there's no point arguing in, on the road because right. uh, it, it will not uh, help at all. True. It turns into, a, uh, what I've seen, turns into a very domestic uh, argument going on. If there is not a police officer, now you meant, both of you mentioned police officers are important. Um, is it necessary that a police officer should be there? Well, I mean, uh, the 
the, the, the argument is like this now when you look at the uh, history or the, the, the stat accident statistics mm -hmm. now we are having a problem most of the small type damage only type accidents are right. not recorded most of the day most yeah. of the time to the police so as I said when you look at the accident statistics uh, it says I mean there's a reduction in accidents uh, total right. when you look okay. at the total number that could be due to certain other reasons like okay. I mean, you and me, then and there, you just settle that most of the time, right? That's what happens. Probably, yeah. So as a result, we don't want, we don't go to the police, and if there's no police officer present, it won't record it at the police station. I right. mean, they are the one who's responsible for recording the number of accidents that right. are taking place. So at the end of the day, we think, okay, we have uh, achievement with respect to accidents, yeah. there's a number of accidents, so forth. So, but I mean, given the given the condition, uh, as uh, Professor also mentioned, we should uh, make sure that the settlement should be done very fast, and mm -hmm. uh, you just uh, do not disturb the road. I mean, uh, for like long time right. but at the same time there should be a mechanism developed to inform the police as well right so as a result we uh, as a basically uh, 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 education proficiency so we would know I mean what sort of actions are taking place how to reduce them what sort of actions can be taken and so forth that's what we are interested right. in how to how to give uh, injury and solutions most of the time right to reduce those kind of accidents so I would say uh, the I mean mechanism is okay the insurance will take care of us mm -hmm. but at the same time we have to make sure the accidents are not happening like over and over again for example okay. when you are not giving the pressure mm -hmm. like you are not really you know care about you know knocking down anyone at any given time I mean it's slight accident sure. but if something coming up to you also then you might you know okay I need to be bit careful now I need to try with you know carefully I need to make certain moves and right. you know, that should be in your mind so that culture sure. has to be developed yeah. Gradually, I would say. Yeah. All right. So uh, just to wrap things up, uh, what you're saying is that um, it's important that you do call a police officer. It has to be present in the sense because for educational purposes, for you guys to do your statistics uh, when it comes it's to it's not it's not educational purposes. It's the law that when accident uh, do happen, you know, it's uh, by law it's a requirement to inform police. Oh right. But uh, the the reason behind that is to get the statistics. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is, uh, you know, we can collect statistics in different ways. You don't have to go to the police all the time right. unless it is really necessary. Of course. Because uh, the insurance also have statistics. So we have to come up with a mechanism to share these statistics. Right. So just because the statistics is required, uh, you know, uh, spending a lot of time on the road and, you know, going to police stations and, mm -hmm. you know, for minor accident which is, you know, not more than 2,000 rupees yeah. uh, of damage, but you have to spend about two, three hours, so that will cost more. Okay. So we have to, uh, you know, come up with a mechanism to do that. So, but since we don't have it, you know, the requirement is to uh, right. go and inform police. Okay. Uh, so in the future, I think, you know, we may be able to uh, get out of it. In the future, that, that let's hope so. W what if you uh, don't have the time? Like Professor, you mentioned that if you don't have the time and you're a fast working person here in this country, wouldn't a phone call just suffice by calling the police and saying, hey, I got into an accident, we sorted it out, but just wanted to let you guys know that yeah. here's my license number. and That's, that's what we are thinking of, some sort of mechanism, which right. is much, much more convenient than what we have right now. Yes. A convenient mechanism to just to inform police or maybe mm -hmm. the insurance company or whatever it is. Yeah. So the, the, the statistics are in place, you know, so the, the, the accident will be reported. Right. Some mechanism, it could be over the phone call, it could be drop down sheet, it could be via internet, something like that, you just, yeah. you know, give your information, yeah. whatever happened, you know, yeah. so forth. So, but, you know, there is a limit to that, because if there is an injury involved in that, True. so you can't, uh, you know, avoid uh, going to the police, because it's, it's a must, yeah. because otherwise it will be a hit and run, uh, or you will be charged for uh, that. Okay. So, it, it will depend on the nature of the accident. Right. So, if it is damaged only, it's a different uh, situation. Right. But uh, if, if uh, uh, injury or uh, you know something involved, then of course you know you have to uh, go to the police, inform, and you know uh, that that formalities has to be done. Uh, but you know uh, the the driver population and the road users have to be you know well informed about the situation, yeah. because otherwise you can see that you know unnecessarily uh, uh, yeah you know working the other people mm -hmm. and uh, spending, you know, a lot of time in the middle of the road arguing and you know, trying to sort <laughs> I it mean, out. You s we see this every day at Sri Lanka, we would see this every day. And uh, Alright, now you mentioned that uh, you obviously uh, get your data from police stations when you uh, ma uh, do your statistics of uh, auto accidents. Do you also uh, contact these private uh, insurance companies um, to get in case uh, there's something missing. Yeah, well, well for the research, uh, research studies, I mean, well, we uh, tried sometimes, you know, but the problem is uh, the most of the accidents, uh, I would say they have given uh, a, a, a single number, mm -hmm. uh, index number, yeah. 
like not not common among the companies insurance companies i okay. would say so like let's say two vehicles involved yeah. one 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 uh, one insurance company maintain a different file or even index number another okay. insurance company let's say two vehicles from two different companies insured right. under two different company okay. another company or the next company second company mm -hmm. maintain under different index number so there is right. no uh, mechanism to tally these two things so because oh, right. it's a one single accident so as a result i mean it will be very difficult to say how many accidents has happened with uh, respect to that data so i mean but doing little adjustment maybe uh, we would be able to do that, but uh, we need that uh, support from the uh, other people. So, I mean, I don't think we are the responsible people to do that. <laughs> of course so, not, uh, yeah. Probably, I mean, uh, in the future, the, they can get together, they can do something about it for uh -huh. a better future, I would say. Interesting. That, that's a very good point you brought up there. All right, so uh, uh, auto accidents in general, um, would you happen to have any tips to prevent these from happening? Well, it's a good question. <laughs> and the answer will be very, very long. <laughs> Let, let's hear, I've got time. <laughs> yeah. It's just, you can, you can uh, reduce number of accidents. That's, that's not a secret, you know, we can do it. But, uh, you know, to achieve that, we have to do a lot of things. Example? Uh, for example, uh, no, for, uh, one thing is that, you know, we have to consider who are the victims of these accidents now. Uh, in our road accidents, majority of the casualties are pedestrians. Right. Uh, and then the motorcycle and the cyclists. Sure. And the car passengers, casualties are less. Okay. So, uh, so it's a joint responsibility of all the road users. Right. Uh, you can't uh, categorize and blame a particular group right. for, uh, you know, accidents. Yeah, of course. And on the other hand, uh, you know, accident do happen because it's, uh, you know, involved in human error. Mm -hmm. So, any accident should have a certain amount of human error involved. So, when it is there, uh, it's our responsibility, especially the, the, the facilitators or the, those who are providing the, the infrastructure and, you know, enforcing and things like that. Uh, to always assume that, you know, people will make mistakes. Right. And so we have to somehow other uh, make sure that, you know, even if they make mistakes, they will not get uh, seriously uh, injured. Right. It's like, you know, looking after a small baby. Okay. So we know that, you know, something can happen. We take a lot of precautions. Yeah. So, but we, we are not going to say don't do that and, you know, if something happens, we don't blame that uh, child because that's the nature. So it's it's like that, you know. Accidents also it's similar. We we nobody wants to uh, meet with an accident purposely. I don't think you know anybody. Uh, you know, in this morning, nobody would uh, you know have an idea that today, okay, I'm going to meet with an accident. No. <laughs> <laughs> of course so, not. Yeah. So uh, so we don't want accidents, but they do happen. So that's the thing that we have to understand. You know, uh, that's because of something something wrong. So we have to identify that and treat that. Right. So you can't just blame a particular person or individual because of his fault that happened. Right. But there is so much of uh, you know other things that involve, mm -hmm. and uh, so by doing that we can minimize yeah. the accidents and its damages. That's what the you know short answer for your <laughs> question, but long answer will take. <laughs> <laughs> It'll actually be a lecture, <laughs> which uh, would be interesting. But uh, on that note, we're going to a quick commercial break. But before that, enjoy the smooth sounds of Al City Metropolis.